What's the worst thing your parents have caught you doing? <laughs> Don't say that one thing. Oh, you think you know the answer? <laughs> yeah, what do you think the answer is to that? Like masturbating. <laughs> so you really came out here with this blind date being like, I just want to drink a lot. They see me day in, they hate me. My name is Gotham Kapoor. I'm 27 years old. Um, I'm from Washington, D.C. and I work in the sports industry. Hi, my name is Divyanshi. I'm 24. I live in Brooklyn. I currently work as a financial analyst. I'm someone who hasn't dated that much. Um, I've been in like two major relationships, one in high school and one after college. They were pre-COVID. I was uh, actually living in my parents' house, in my parents' basement, so that's not very conducive to a good dating life. I did date someone um, recently. It didn't go that well. We dated for like, uh, six months. In terms of physical traits, the only thing that matters to me is if the guy is taller than me. <laughs> I don't really um, have a set of expectations tonight. If I like the person, maybe we can go out again. But um, yeah, just have fun. Yeah. No, I've never, I've never been on a blind date before, so this is special. I'm just looking for a really good date, some laughs, and you know, a good time with somebody. Do it on camera. Right. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Cheers. It was very hard for me sitting outside not to try and get a peek and just walk to the window and see who you were, but I'm sure it's worth the wait, so I'm ready to take these off. I don't even, I don't even actually know if that's a pickup line, but maybe just a comment. Hello. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, are we not supposed to tell our names? No, I think that's the rules. Yeah, we're not allowed to do okay, that. Nice uh, to meet very you. Very nice to meet you. I'm like trying to figure out where I am oriented, but yeah. <laughs> this was a long wait, but it was worth the yeah, wait. Um, this was good yeah. stuff. Yeah. I think the first shock when we took off the blinds was I was like, wow, we're like straight up at eye level. I mean, we were like, I mean, she might be close to six feet or so. So, I mean, that definitely stood out to me. The first thing that came to my mind was that he's tall. So that's good. <laughs> what, what kind of music do you like while I set this up? Like, Anything hip hop like Cardi B? Cardi B, yeah, yeah I like great. Cardi B. That's great. <laughs> what do you I like, like Cardi B as well. Yeah, what's your favorite song? Dude, see, this is where I get this is where I get caught. Like name, I can yeah. never name songs. Like I like like artists and I like the music, but when you ask to like name the name of the track, like I'll never do it. Things we need, right? Boston Shaker. So I'm just gonna guess it's this. So we got this. That seems to be a yes. strainer. We got our lime juice and then agave. I don't know what an agave is. This has agave. I'm gonna make this super easy. This is gonna be your side, and we're gonna okay. split it. We're gonna split it on here. That's yours, that's my side. And then we should okay, be cool. in good shape. Okay, cool. Go ahead and pick up another card. Yeah, let's see. You go this time. Oh, this is fun, this is super fun. Maintain eye contact for 30 seconds. What did you notice? And this is pre-drinks. Oh. Three, two, one. I haven't done this before. Yeah. I feel like it's I have known intimate. this with people I've dated. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, it's like very intimate. Yeah. Okay. What did you notice? Your eye color. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Brown? It's dark brown. Dark brown. Okay, I didn't know we need qualifiers. That's fair though. Dark brown. Okay. Well, let's get back to the fun stuff. The drinks. That was aggressive. I know. Take slice of lime and rub it on we one done side. That. And oh, we I rubbed it on the sure. entire side. So we've we've already messed up there. <laughs> I didn't so put I it hope in your drink. Uh, you didn't put agave in? Just literally put Sorry it in right that. now. <laughs> just just literally put it in right now. Oh we're <laughs> headshots. You wanna ask another question while oh, I yeah, awkwardly okay. put together this drink? <laughs> yeah. Now time for the fun shaking okay. part. Describe your worst heartbreak. What did it teach you? Describe ooh. ooh. So, I recently got cheated on. Ooh. So that was my worst heartbreak. But I kind of saw it coming. That's all we're gonna talk about it. You saw it coming? Kind of, yeah. It's what like, you what know, makes you say that? It's like you can just, you can just tell that something's going on and then you don't want to be right, but you are right about it. Yeah, no, that's like a serious conversation. That's tough. How long ago was that? Yeah, when was that? Like a month ago. Oh, it's very recent. Yeah. But you seem like very positive about it and like, yeah. Like yeah, you, you came out on top, it hasn't that was you. That was one bad experience. I don't want to give up on something that could be better than that just because I had a bad experience. Yeah, no, for sure. 
that's like the that's a really awesome attitude to take for something like uh, being know. cheated on. That's crazy. Yeah. <sighs> My worst heartbreak was realizing someone wasn't the right person for me when I thought they were for a very long time. I like went to her where she was from, met her family, mm -hmm. and kind of like got a sense of like their values and how they viewed like relationships. And it was just like a very different impression that I had for for a long time. So that's like heartbreak is when you think you know someone and then you realize they're like somebody completely different. That's probably what it was for me. That's... <laughs> you just have to be with her. Like, why did something about her family or something else affect your relationship? That's actually a really good question. I think it was just more of me, like, realizing how... Like, she viewed relationships and how her family reviewed relationships. It was not just the, the family. It was, like, everyone involved. It was just, like, a big... Not a culture shock, because like, I mean, we're from the same culture, but it was just yeah. like their approach to relationships, which like really threw me off. The reason why I broke up with the previous relationship is because the relationship was a great one and we're still in touch and we're still friends, but I just wasn't really ready to say, you know, this is the one, um, you know, at that time. How many relationships do you think I've had in the past? I'm gonna go with four to five. No. <laughs> is that too high or too low? It's too high. Like, too high. Uh, no, that's too high. How much do you like think? Like relationships. I'm... What do you think my number is? I said three. Three? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Three? No, it's a little more, but not by much. <laughs> <laughs> like how Mine, mine's like four to five, yeah. Oh. Yeah. What's yours? How long were you like one and a half? The longest range? one was like two years. Oh, okay. What's the longest relationship? Two years, yeah. Two Mine years, too. yeah, same thing. But I've just had like two serious. All like... right. Create a secret handshake. <laughs> Create a secret handshake? Do you have any celebrity f favorites, secret handshakes like that you've what? seen on TV? Should I know? No. <laughs> no? I've got a few. Yeah? So you stick, your, you stick your pinky out and you tap three times. One, two, three. Put your index finger out to the front and then you salute. That's it? That's it. Okay. So one, one two, two, three, three split, one. and then yeah. handshake. Oh, I like that. Yeah, this so this again. is it. One, one two, two, three. three. That's Ew. the secret handshake. Yeah. What age was your first kiss and with who? Describe it. Oh, no. <laughs> My first kiss was when I was around, I want to say 20 years old. It was in the back of an Uber. <laughs> okay. That was so, the first yeah. kiss in the back yeah. of an Uber. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, okay. He was dropping me home. We usually take the train, but the train was not working that specific night. Okay. So we ended up taking Uber. It was my first kiss, so there was a lot of teeth involved. That's Don't fair. That. That's fair. <laughs> Do you think this turned out okay or no? Is that how drunk you are? Maybe just hold your camera still. <laughs> okay, that worked out a little bit yeah, better. Yeah, that's better. No. Oh, this is a good question then. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> hey, if you want to, there's no rules. If you want to skip it, you want to skip it. I don't even need to You're see gonna it. You're going to do that. I'm not. Okay, well, that's okay. the text spread with your la latest ex. What was the last mes message that was sent? You're doing it. I'm not. <laughs> no. <laughs> Chivalry is not dead, so I'll just like take that. Like, I'll just do it. Fine. Do that's it. All yeah. Good. I want to yeah. see it. <laughs> the text spread with my latest ex? Mm hmm Hey. <laughs> this is the text from my ex, last text. Do you want to read it out loud? I promise you, I promise you this is it. No, like for real. No, this is for real, the text. If you don't believe it. It's not. It was a yeah, text from Ticketmaster. She sent me these tickets that we bought together what because she like said we're not going to the concert anymore, so she just sent me the tickets. Like, that was the truly the last text. I mean... What I was cautious of was that her ex story was very different from my ex story. I mean, the fact that she had gone through something as horrible as being cheated on, I wanted to like, for whatever question we got, like related to exes and experiences, I was like, you probably don't want to talk about that. So I'm happy to talk about my experiences. Do you want kids? And if so, how many? No, I don't want kids. Don't want kids? Yeah, no. And I how? feel like I've never, like, I'm not made for that. <laughs> Yeah? yeah? And why, why is that? I'm curious. I just don't see myself having kids. Yeah. Yeah. It just doesn't... What about you? <laughs> yeah, so like, I definitely do want kids. I'm like, and if so, how many? So I'm an only child. Mm -hmm. And I've always wondered like, 
There are so few only children, like what it would be like to have siblings. So like if I, I do want kids and if so, like maybe two, probably what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's a good answer. Yeah. So that's, that's a fun one to get out the books. <laughs> What do you feel like? What do you feel like making? The same thing. <laughs> Round two. But we haven't even finished ours, yeah. Then finish it. So you really came out here with this blind date, being like, I just want to drink a lot, which is yeah, cool too. Like, why not? Okay. Drink and have fun. Okay, cool. Cheers. This is the real. This is the true Delhi vibe. I could say that because I live there. I'm not trying to be like that. Okay, okay yeah. fair enough. Do you think you're a good kisser? Do I think I'm a good kisser? Oof, that's a tough one to evaluate for yourself. I'm gonna put it on a scale of one to 10. Mm -hmm. I'll give myself like a seven. I'd say a nine. A nine, like there you go. Nine. It's good to have confidence. Yeah, like based on past experiences. <laughs> okay. Um, what do you think I fear the most? This might be a savage answer, <laughs> but it's like right. being in a relationship like that you were in the previous one where someone did you wrong. Is that right or wrong? I mean, right now, like, That's yeah, like, cause it was true. so recent, right? Yeah. It must be top of yeah. mind. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Before we do it, let me see if you remember the handshake. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Of course I remember. Okay. That's one. What's the worst thing your parents have caught you doing? <laughs> Don't say that one thing. Oh, you think you know the answer? <laughs> what do you think that, yeah, what do you think the answer is to that? Like masturbating. Yo, if we're gonna go there, but yeah, no, that ain't, okay, good. That ain't it. Good. We, could, we, can script, good. we can scrap that one. Um, What's the hardest part about dating you? <laughs> the hardest part about dating me is my response time. Like, <laughs> I think, and that's like common for like a lot of relationships, right? Like where people like might not respond like no, for not. a couple of hours. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. Call me out on that like nonsense. Is that not common? Yeah, yeah. no. <laughs> Yeah, so that's 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 a problem that I've had in previous relationships where like take a while to respond, okay, like on like why? important things. I have a bad habit of like when I'm like in the office, like keeping my phone, like personal phone, away from me, because otherwise I'll just be like scrolling Instagram the whole time. Yeah, true. So like miss out on like important messages. Okay. So that's probably like in my dating experience, that's what's come up as like a tough, tough selling point at times. I'd say, um, like, I would call you out for, like, yeah, any of your bullshit. <laughs> yeah, but that's not a tough part. I mean, that's important, right? Yeah, you got to be able I'm to like, call out I'm, the other I'm person. I'm really honest. If something's bothering me, I'll just say it. Okay, so, yeah. So yeah, that's that's one of the hardest things. I, I, so I you give keep... that real talk, like, yeah, yeah, guaranteed I'm, real talk. I don't waste time. I'm like, this is what. Real talk's good about. though. Like, yeah. yeah. In your previous relationship, did you like do real talk to a point where it like bothered the person or like what? It it did because um, like I saw things coming, like I could see what's going on. Um, one insecurity that I noticed in my last relationship was I tend to overthink things a lot and um, I kind of, um, I think yeah, I think I do overthink a lot which kind of fights me at the end. Oh, this is good. What do you think my type is? Describe in detail. Oh no. <laughs> what do I think your type is? I'd say you go for someone more stable in their lives. Someone who's stable and in their life. More okay. like someone who has everything figured out. Okay. That's what you look like. Yeah. So I'm assuming that's what you would go for. What I'm looking for in someone now in like this stage of my life someone who's like down to try new things, someone who's ready to ex explore and just like, I feel like COVID's been so hard on so many people. And like, we spend like a lot of time just indoors yeah. doing our own thing. And like, now things are starting to get normal again. You get to like, go out, try mm -hmm. things, like travel again. Like that's like, having lived like all over the place, that's something that's like really important to me. So like, mm -hmm. you know. Do you think you hit that or no? Do you yeah. think that's what you look for? Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm really spontaneous with anything I do. What's the... Okay, so based on what you know about me so far, do you have any Netflix recommendations? Do I have any Netflix recommendations based on where, what I know about you so far? So I saw this show on Netflix called Bombay Begums. And it's like a oh, really yeah. cool, like modern take on like what it's like to live in Bombay and like corruption and like trying to make it in like, like 
just finance in general, which you said you got a master's in finance, yeah, right? Yeah. I think I think you'd like it. Where did you like? I don't know about you. Like, where did you? What did you study? Uh, I studied economics and international oh, okay. relations. What do you know? <laughs> now, now I work in sports. But what I was gonna say is like Bombay Begum, like mm -hmm. that is a guaranteed show that you would like. I think okay. it's not that long. It's like it's like five episodes. Okay, I'll just tell you about my favorite show. <laughs> okay, so no Rex. <laughs> this is us. <laughs> okay, cool. I love okay. that show. Yeah. it's like about family. Yeah. And how things like go on with like yeah. parents and like three kids and everything. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. I know. My, <laughs> my, my name is Gotham. Mm -hmm. I'm 27 years old hmm. and I live in Washington, D.C. right now, but moving to New York in a month. Oh, awesome. Well, my name is Devanshi. I'm 24 and I live in Brooklyn. So I thought you were, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were like closer to 27. But that's like not a good thing to say to a 24 year old. Yeah, I know it's that not. much. <laughs> but I did think <laughs> but we, were, we were on the same page a lot of, about a yeah, lot of things. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, for sure. That's not too old, yeah. Um, he's, he's nice. I feel like he's someone I would not have swiped right on if it was just an app. Really? But the fact that we got to know each other, I feel like I'm, like, I like him. I thought she was cool. She was fun. I mean, we struggled a lot with making the drinks, for sure. That was a distraction in our, our blind date, I would say. Yeah, I mean, it's tough to, like, say, because, like, I think we struggled a lot getting to know each other. I think we... We struggle with a lot of things. I think I'm not sure, honestly. I'll probably have to like think about it. I'm I'm not too sure about that. I'm just basing on what you told. I would I would love to go out with him again and know him, like know more about him and where he comes from and what his experience has been. I feel like that's the kind of person I would want to be with, who is more serious about their life and almost everything in general. So yeah, I would like to go out with him again. I'm so happy you did this because honestly, this is so much better than just swiping right on random people. <laughs> Do this more often. <laughs> I had fun, man. Like, yeah, I did. I'll know that mixology is not in my drink? future. I know that much. <laughs> Why did you not drink? <laughs> I liked your drink. I just was so busy I'm, I'm answering sure questions from you that you. I was like answering those. Go for, I'll go for it too. We don't have to finish it if it's not good. They see me day in. They hate it. Great. Did you guys go get drinks after the other day? Yeah, no, we definitely uh, hung out after the show. I think it was cool just to like catch up without the cameras and all that stuff. Did you guys make uh, out? Did we?